Yes, and the picture is very clear. I can see the service module. Copy. And just there, getting a spectacular view from one of the onboard high definition cameras on board the station of the Soyuz. Just to the left center of your screen. Monitoring the very southern Pacific Ocean firing. passing by in the background. This is the time. Copy. And we are monitoring. And as the Soyuz comes up on 560 meters away, impulse burn number six complete, continuing on its approach. Meters and closing rate is 1.5 meters. Copy. Thank you. And the Soyuz continuing to approach inside 500 meters away now. Depot firing confirmed, fly around confirmed at 22, 24, 20. And you just heard the translation confirming the fly around has begun. And the closing rate is one meter. Looking right down the business end here from the uh, Zvezda service module, looking right at the docking cone on the uh, the Soyuz spacecraft itself as it continues to close in. Range is around one meter. Point one is the rate. I confirm the contact. Contact. Contact is confirmed. Mechanical connection is confirmed as well. I see that on gas 8. Copy. And so use docking confirm that coming at 2.42 p.m. Central Time, 3.42 p.m. Eastern Time. While the station and Soyuz were flying 264 statute miles over the southern Pacific Ocean off the west coast of Chile. And there we see the Soyuz hatch open. So the hatch opening coming at 5.12 p.m. Central Time, 6.12 p.m. Eastern Time with the space station flying 260 statute miles over the Indian Ocean. The hatch now open, the MS-15 crew going to make their way out. First through the door, Oleg Skropochka saying hello to the International Space Station for the third time in his career. And just behind him looks like NASA astronaut Jessica Mir, the first time flyer saying hello to some of her fellow ASCAN crewmates and some of the cosmonauts already on board making her first flight to the station. And there we see Haza Ali Almansari in the background. Last but not least, all nine crew members now inside the Russian segment aboard the International Space Station. We'll give them a minute to say hello to each other. Some of these crew members have trained together for years, haven't seen each other for months, now reunited 260 miles over planet Earth. We'll give them a minute, and then in just a little while, we'll set up and have them talk to friends and family back in Baikonur who have been watching the day's events unfold. Hi, Jessica. Welcome up to the station. It was fantastic to see you. They take off.
And now I wonder, how did you feel during the journey and how about those knees? It's a little bit hard to believe that we're here. It actually felt a lot like being in the simulator until things started moving and then we started noticing the view. And it's interesting because we were pretty busy, so it's easy to just get in the moment and forget exactly what we're doing until we looked out the window and I looked at his own face and a floating tablet. It's pretty surreal to be here now, but we feel great. Oh, oh that's good, good to hear. I. Hi, Jessica. This is Raquel. We were so happy to see that you all arrived safely and are joining the amazing crew that is already there safely, and now you're together with the rest of the amazing crew at the space station. I was wondering what was going through your mind as you were um, experiencing the launch and whether, despite all the training, was there anything unexpected? Just a few. I mean, there were a couple of things I didn't expect. I didn't realize there was going to be some more interference on the radio. I don't know how often that happens or not, but obviously it never happens to us in the simulator. So it was interesting listening to other conversations, and we even heard an ATIS report from an airplane and a, an ILS approach, and I felt like I was back in the T-38. So <laughs> just some kind of small details like that that we hadn't ever experienced before in the simulator. And then, of course, all the feelings, I think, for me, as it was described, by uh, several of my classmates, you just sort of feel suddenly like you're hanging from the ceiling, and then that just persists. But uh, I think it's going to feel normal pretty soon. Jessica, hi, this is Josefa. So proud of you. Love you so much. It was incredible to watch you take off. And I was also looking for... NASA has trained you so extensively in so many simulations. There must be something that still surprised you or that they just couldn't really relay in a simulation. And how did you feel looking back at the planet? It was really one of the first images I had. It was just the, the sunrise was, was just approaching, coming up, and I could see this body of water in the distance, and it was glowing red from the sunrise. So that was a pretty spectacular view for the first one. And then really just the formations of the clouds were really, really thick. And it was a little bit, Haza and I were trying to figure out exactly where we were. But our view wasn't that great from our seats where we were, so we couldn't quite nail it. And we're going to practice with our uh, geography a little bit more up here. Maybe with a better, better view from the cupola, we'll be able to nail it. Privyet, Dobry Vichir. Brad Jones, this. Привет, это Брэд Джонс. Do you like it in space? Right now, my brother is speaking Russian. Everyone's very impressed up here, Johnny. Oleg is about to answer. He thought it was for him. Oleg has asked, спасибо. Thank you, Oleg. Anytime. Wonderful pronunciation, by the way. Just top notch. Hey, Jess, it's Becca. Hi. Hi. And hi, and I had a thought. You are so far away, however. You've always wanted to do this all your life, and I feel like when you arrived, you must feel right at home, and then seeing all your classmates, even though you're far, you must feel so at home. It really does, and I think it's going to feel even more so really quickly here, but coming in through the hatch and seeing all these familiar faces, and it's really interesting because I've been seeing them on the other side of the screen for so long, uh, but yeah, I think it feels like home already. It's going to be an amazing six months. Hello, uh, Marhaba Hazza. Hazza, it's Manny. Marhaba. Shalik, I suck of hair. Alf, Alf, Mavro, Speaking Arabic. الله يحفظك ورب السلام وبشرك جماعه
السلام عليكم مرحبا يا محمد والله يسلمك الله يسلمك وسعيد بسمع صوتك وكان ودي صراحة أشوف أخلي الناس كلها تشوف المنظر اللي شفته منظر عجيب صراحة الأرض والغياب والشروق اللي شفناه خلال الرحلة كانت رحلة ست ساعات كانت ممتعة صراحة والحين بنبدأ إن شاء الله المرحلة الثانية من المهمة على مثل محطة الفضاء الدولية سلم على قادتنا على شعب دولة الإمارات على الوطن العربي كله وأقول لكم نحن الحمد لله بخير وإن شاء الله قدامنا مهمات وتجارب علمية إن شاء الله ونشارككم في التجارب مع هذا الطاقم الرائع. إن شاء الله إن شاء الله الله يوفقك إن شاء الله ركز على أداء العمل وأداء المهمة و... ولا تفكر في شيء إلا في أداء المطلوب منك. عسى الله يوفقك إن شاء الله ويردك سالم. مشكور مشكور يا محمد سلم سلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليك هزاء نحن وايد فخورين فيك حكومة الإمارات وشعب الإمارات كلهم يشوفون إنجازك اليوم كلهم يشوفون حلم زايد تحقق وانت طموح زايد وإن شاء الله ترد لنا سالم غانم وإن شاء الله ما ترد لنا الخبر طيب نتمرى نترياك كنا على دولة الإمارات الله يحفظك جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير يا أبو سالم مشكور سلم على شيوخنا على قادتنا على حكامنا وعلى شعب الإمارات والوطن العربي وطموح زايد اليوم وصل الفضاء وعانق النجوم وإن شاء الله إن شاء الله هاي بداية مراحل جديدة ومهمات أخرى إن شاء الله Hey Jessica, it's Greg. I just first I want to say the look on your face when you came out the hatch was priceless, and I hope that uh, hope the entire six months feels like that for you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure it's going to. Hi Jessica, it's Mel. I am honored to represent the group of dear friends who have come together for this extraordinary experience. In fact, we've become an extended family, and the words of Shakespeare bear repeating, we can no other answer make, but thanks and thanks and ever thanks. How did I know Shakespeare was going to appear again? Thank you so much, Mel. I'm so glad that all of you guys were here. It made me so happy seeing all the pictures of all your smiling faces. Thank you so much to everybody for your support. Okay, and back here in Baikonur, uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, since we're running just a tad late, uh, we want to wish you all safe travels. Fly safe. We'll be sharing your exploration uh, with the world as uh, the months and weeks go on. And we'll turn it back to Mission Control in Houston. Thanks so much, crew. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you to all the participants in Baikonur for the ISS. Welcome on board, and we'll resume operational space-to-ground communications.